Carla Esparza is one of the most unique fighters in EA Sports UFC 4. Now, I know you guys are probably hearing that and you're like scratching your head going, what the hell is, what the hell is this dude talking about? How on earth is Carla Esparza the most random character in UFC 4? How the hell is she one of the most unique fighters in UFC 4? Well, I'm going to prove it to you guys in this fighter showcase. I'm going to show you guys exactly how she is. The one of the most unique characters in this game, and you'll be you'll end up asking yourself, like, why the hell did EA make this decision? So, right now, we're facing Yuana on Jacek, and I want you guys to try to pay attention to Carla's jab, her cross, and to pay attention to her lunges because uh, you're gonna see some interesting animations going on. Look at that. <laughs> I promise you I am not doing anything special. I'm not doing the pivot lunges that Romero17 tries to teach you guys how to do. I'm literally just flicking my left stick. Look at that. <laughs> so freaking beautiful. I'm literally just flicking my left stick to the left and right. And that's it. Of course, I'm holding the modifier. Like, I'm holding... I'm holding the left bumper as I do it. Oh, it's not good. But um, I'm almost certain that Carla Esparza is the only, look at that. She's the only character in UFC 4 that has that unique sidestep right there. It is beautiful to watch. You duck right underneath your opponent's shots. You pretty much evade their shot. And then she's got this like unique jab straight animation going. Look at that. Look at that. Miss. It's like, why did EA decide to assign this move to her? A character that pretty much nobody picks. Like, can you count how many times you've actually picked Carla Esparza in this game? I guarantee a vast majority of you have never even touched this character. In this weight class, most people are picking Yuana, they're picking Rose, Namagunas. You know? And right here she is. She's got one of the coolest lunges in the game. Very cool jab straight animations. It's like, damn, man. Like, y'all could have given that, that lunge to quite a few other fighters, man. Someone like Izzy, for example. It would be nice if Izzy had something like that. But yeah, Carla is set to fight Rose Namayunas. Championship fight. Look at that beautiful takedown. Oh, that's actually... Ooh, that's a good animation. Started with a single. Into the double. Locked the hands. Lifted. Dropped her on the ground. That was very systematic like that and you guys will notice that I'm starting to sh take most of my shots against the cage now just trying to keep things more realistic and this round is going to be over so yeah game plan with Carla is we're going to strike a little bit just a little bit move around the cage use our lunges use that jab straight animation work it throw some leg kicks and then if we can back the opponent up against the cage Try to use the cage to drag them to the ground. Thank you. That's the game plan. Right now she's trying to pressure me. Now, well, guess what we're gonna do? We're going to fight back. We're gonna fight. We're gonna fight back and make sure that we're giving her something to worry about. You know. You know. Lately, you're going to get the, uh, you're going to get the 70, you're going to get the 70 IQ, 70 IQ, there you go, rocked, look at that, rocked. You're going to get the 70 IQ, uh, advice. Oh, uh, just, uh, use IQ. You need to use IQ. And of course, well, what's the definition of IQ? Retreat, bobblehead, throw a faint here and there. Einstein. Don't do it. 
you're going to get shredded. You're going to keep losing matches. And you're going to keep complaining. Learn how to... Learn how to fight back. You know, it's up to you. It's up to you. You know, you might... You might enjoy having the moral victory of saying, Oh, but, um... I was using IQ. I was, uh... I was retreating, and I was faking, and I was, uh... Moving my head like a bubble head all over the place. Meanwhile, my opponent was just, uh, jabbing me. <laughs> it's always... Always the guys too that like have never stepped foot in the gym ever in their life. They've never, they've never stepped foot in the gym. They've never, they've never trained. Not. Can I get him? Can I get him? There we go. Oh. Stay against that cage. There we go. Oh, ain't that beautiful? Yeah, it's always the guys that they've never trained at all in their life. They've never stepped foot in the gym. You've never boxed. You've never done Muay Thai. Never done jujitsu. You've never wrestled. You're just that. You're just that dude. It's your IQ. <laughs> Fucking a, bro. Reverse. I mean, deny that. Boom. Okay. Recover half guard right there. But yeah, somebody tell EA to stop making some weird decisions, man. Because like, if you guys remember, in UFC 1, EA did something similar to this, but in reverse, right? In UFC 1, everybody had the same shit like everybody could perform the exact same takedowns the exact same moves and you know we complain about that it's like you know you got to make this more realistic like not everybody can do the same shit i mean look at the beautiful lunge side sidestep animations right there we told him not everyone can do the same thing man like if you want to go with realism you gotta get him to the cage and see if we can shoot There we go. There we go. Use that jab. Like, you know, in real life. Kind of like you use the jab to, uh, you know, set up your shots. <laughs> Pin him. And then, uh, you know, just uh, take him down. Backside. Back sit in. And so EA assigns everyone the same moves. We complain that it's not realistic because it isn't. But then... It's like, don't don't take it too far then. You know what I mean? Like, especially when it just doesn't make sense. Like, you you can you can create some very specific lunges for some fighters, but like let it be assign it to fighters where it makes sense, you know? You've got a fighter with a box and base in the game that pivots like that. It makes sense for them to have that, but then, uh-oh, look at my stamina. See what he wants to do. But then if you would assign it to just Carla Esparza, it's kind of like, like, what the hell kind of decision is that? I promise you, a lot of people don't even know about this. There we go, rock right there against the cage. Use that jab. All right, so my opponent is jabbing me right now. So what do we do? Take a step back. Make some space. We get it. Wait, she doesn't have it? Oh, shit. Maybe I didn't do it right. I'll try to do it again. In this fight, I'm going to see if... I try to pull guard and roll her directly into mount right there, but oh look at that beautiful kazoo she hits back into the back take. Oh you gotta love it. There we go. Can we can we go for it? If I don't get it, let me try. Let 
Nah, she good. Top now. Out. Nice. Good. Good round. Dude, I'm loving the way this fight is going, man. Striking's working really well. And we are grappling as well at the right time, too. Like, we're pinning him against the cage, taking him down, using the cage. In that last round, I tried to pull guard. I tried to pull guard and, and roll her directly into full mount. But it doesn't seem like Carla Esparza has that transition. So I'm going to see. Thanks. I'll try it again. I'll try it again. See if she has it. Look at that beautiful pivot lunge. And we get it. Oh, man. Like, Carla is fun as hell to use because of that. But it's just so random. It's like, Carla Esparza. What the fuck? You got to move. Well, the ref is going to stand us up. She knows it. She knows it. My opponent knows it. Here we go. Oh. Can we do it? Let's try. She doesn't have it. She doesn't have it. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Oh boy. That guard pool. I'm uh, she's gonna make me pay for it. But we will find a way to reverse her. We shall find a way. Oh my god. Now nah, you're getting reversed, baby girl. Look at that. Beautiful. Out the back door. Back sit in. Good. Okay. Fake that. Posture up. We drag him down. Nope. Trying to get, trying to hit up. There is a beautiful mat return. We are wrestling really well right now. In my opinion, I think I think this is beautiful to watch. What do you guys think? Like the way I'm wrestling and grappling in this in this uh, in this showcase. What do you guys think? Like I'm not just holding her assigned control. You know what I mean? Like we're exploring some other positions. Let's see. Ah, she denied it. There we go. No stamina. I want to shoot, but I'm... Hold on. Scared she's going to throw an uppercut on knee or something. Should already know I'm going to try to shoot right here. There we go. Take him down. I am really, really enjoying this matchup right now. Like, I'm having a shitload of fun with this matchup right now. Like, this is fun. Thank you. Oh, rocked. Can I still get it? Shoot again. Just love that jab so much. No, nothing there. Pin against the cage. Take the back. Again. Okay. Uh-huh. There we go. We're going to start working the clinch. We're going to use everything in this fight. Rocked. 
Oh. That does it. Man. That was I, that was good mixed martial arts right there, bro. If I can say so myself. Good fight. In my opinion, that was good mixed martial arts. Striking. Chain wrestling. Cage work. Clinch work. Submission attempts. Like, we really did everything, man. All right. Who would have thought Carla Esparza was going to be one of the more fun matches I've had this whole entire week? But, yeah. Let's keep it pushing. All right, boys. We're facing Joanna Jacek again. And uh, I think this is going to be the last one. We're gonna keep things uh gonna keep things clean as always. Or at least try to. Let's get it. Hey! Hey, 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 come on. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do you uh this is, I'm not gonna grapple you like the last guy. Come on. Kicking me in the face while I'm trying to touch your gloves. That's not nice. That is not unbecoming of a of a of a gentlewoman, of a lady. You can't be doing that. There you go. Take the back right there. Deny. Yeah. This is going to be a bit different. Going to be a bit different. This one, we're going to focus on control. For this one. First fight, the grappling, we were a little bit loose. Moving through positions. For this one, we're going to be a, 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 a bit more focused on controlling the opponent and doing damage. Nope. Crucifix. Huh? Trying to off balance me from the bottom right there. We're staying tight. Nope. Side control again. Right back to Crucifix. Oh boy. Oh boy, you wanna. Oh boy. Done. Okay. Hey, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. You started the fight off like a dick. Don't get mad. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. So that's going to do it for Carla Esparza. Didn't want to get too many fights in with her. Just want to get a few, like a couple good ones. I feel like these two fights were pretty good. Two different styles, two different approaches. Um, first one was definitely more interesting for sure. It was more competitive. There was more grappling exchanges from different positions. It was more of a mixed martial arts fight. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you, uh, I don't I don't know what EA was thinking, like I said. Like I said, she's one of the more unique fighters in UFC 4. But again, a vast majority of you probably don't even know that. But now you, now, now you do, maybe go give her a try, test her out, and you might even enjoy using her. But that's it. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate all the love, all, this, all the support. And um, I will see you guys later. Enjoy the fights. Peace out. Have a good one, boys.